guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Huh? Anybody? Julie, hey, guess what day it is? Whiteboard Wednesday. What's up, guys? So, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Hit the subscribe button if you find value in this video. But in this video, we're going to be talking about the top three income sources online you can make at the end of 2017. So, if you're new, I make money online. I do a bunch of different things. Check out my other videos after this one if you don't know who I am. But let's jump right into this. So, what are the top ways you can make money online? So, there's a lot, a lot of options. It's not really if something works, because you guys know there's drop shipping, there's Amazon, there's affiliate marketing, there's Bitcoin, there's a ton of crap. It's not a question of does something work? They all work. It's figuring out which one would suit you best, which would be easiest to learn, and which is kind of best fit for your lifestyle and your current situation. So, I'm going to break down the top three. Uh, in my opinion, um, I do all of them and a lot of them you can do at the same time because they don't take tons of effort. So let's jump into this real quick. So the very first thing, I'm going to attempt to do this, it's a small room, but the very, very first one, I'd say this is for mostly beginners, is affiliate marketing. Don't mind my fifth grade writing, it hasn't changed and it probably never will. So you have affiliate marketing. Can you guys even see that with this light? I hope you guys can see that. Let's see. I'll get a black marker. So you got affiliate marketing. Now, what is affiliate marketing if you guys don't know? It's pretty much you get paid to drive traffic to other people's products or sell certain things. So, let's pretend I have a YouTube following. If I say, hey guys, go buy this whiteboard from this company, I'll get a percentage of each sale they get. So if they sell for $50, maybe I get $20 per whiteboard. I get 10 people to buy it, I just made $200. Now, you don't need a following to do this. And the reason this is put at number one is you can start this with zero money. So you can start with zero dollars. So zero to start. You can use all free traffic. You can utilize Facebook. You can utilize Instagram. Any, anything. You can use Facebook ads. Now, the good thing about this is if you do start, it will be slower if you're utilizing all the free traffic and starting the free way. However, you can also scale this very large. You can make millions a year doing this. There's a lot of people that do. So it is scalable when you do the paid version using Facebook ads to promote people's offers. And for those of you who don't know, there are affiliate networks, which is just big compilation of all the offers. Now, what's kind of the life cycle for affiliate marketing? How long has it been around? How long will it be around? Is it too competitive? Is it dying? With affiliate marketing, I can never see this being really too competitive and never see it dying. Reason being, if there's people selling things online, there's gonna be, they're gonna want other people to promote their stuff to make them more money, obviously. So as long as products are sold online, this will be growing. And the more and more stuff that moves online, which is what it's doing now, retail stores are shutting down, moving completely online, the more this will grow. Now, even if there's tons of people jumping on this, think of how many products are online that you can promote. Millions and millions. It's hard. I rarely ever see people doing the same product. So there's so many different things you can promote and make a lot of money. The example I always use is there's some dude promoting flashlights, making $2,000 profit a day from one ad. <clears throat> So that is affiliate marketing. You don't need any money to start. You don't need a following. Um, and you can build Facebook groups and whatnot around it. And it has a long life cycle. Now, number one, not because it's the best, but because it is the easiest to start in my opinion. So what is number two? Number two is Amazon FBA. Now these can be somewhat related guys if you want to do. Affiliate marketing for your products, you're allowed to, or for other people's products. Now, on Amazon, you can get affiliate links, but Amazon FBA is a form of e-commerce. You're selling your own products, uh, but Amazon's fulfilling them. So, quick recap if you guys don't know what Amazon FBA is. It's pretty much, I find a product that sells well on Amazon, low competition. I find a supplier in China. That supplier sends the inventory directly to Amazon. I never touch it. I don't have to package anything, do anything. And I create a listing, do the marketing for it, and when something sells, Amazon fulfills it for me, and I don't do any of the work other than creating the listing and getting the inventory there. So that's what Amazon FBA is. Now, this one, you do need about $1,000 to begin, guys. 
Now, it's not a ton. That will include your first order, the tools you need, and whatnot. Now, this, it's easier to scale and make more money quicker than affiliate marketing, but it does take this initial amount of money to start. So maybe start with affiliate marketing and move to this once you get the money, or even do both at the same time. Now, one thing I hear a lot is Amazon FBA is too saturated, everyone's looking at the same criteria, there's too many people doing it. That's not true. A lot of people do use the same criteria, but there's so many different ways to do it. So, one example I always give is, I started Amazon FBA two years ago. Two years ago, Amazon was more competitive for sellers than it is now. Now, what does that mean? So let's say two years ago, there were, now just pretend this is in millions or something, but say there was a hundred sellers and there was a hundred million revenue for Amazon. So let's just pretend we'll say a hundred million of each, even though it's not true. Well, that's a one to one ratio. That was two years ago. Now, let's talk about now. Now, let's say there are 200 million sellers. Sorry, I'm trying not to break this. And there's 300 million revenue. That's a two to three ratio, which is, oh, which is better, guys. So, this is what I mean when I say two years ago, it was more competitive for Amazon sellers than it is now. It's less competitive now than it was two years ago. It's not oversaturated, it's still a good time to jump in. But how long will Amazon selling last? I think it has a long way to go. It's been, people have been doing it for over 10 years. Amazon's still growing like crazy. They're acquiring companies like Whole Foods and whatnot. I think this is a great route. Um, again, if you have no money, it's hard to do this. There's other ways on Amazon you can do, like retail arbitrage, I have videos on that. But Amazon, still a great place to make money online. You can make tons. Like I said, my first year, I made $273,000 doing this. Tons of students in a couple months making 10 to 30,000 profit a month. So you can do this. And by the way, guys, I do have courses on affiliate marketing and Amazon. There are links in the description if you're interested. If you're just watching me for the first time, watch my other videos before you can click on those. So what is the last source of income for 2017? Now guys, don't just take this and say, oh, it's only gonna work in 2017, because that's what he said. This will work for a long time. Both of these will work for a long time, and this third one will. So what is the last one? So the last one is a little different. It's a longer term play, which I know you guys hate because you want to make money quick and now and you want a Lamborghini. But this will make you the most money in the long term. So what is it? It's a personal brand. Now what's a personal brand? It's what you're watching right now. It's my YouTube channel. It's me. It's maybe my company. It's what it is. So Tanner J. Fox is my personal brand. You follow me on YouTube. You follow me on Instagram. <clears throat> Link in the description. But real guys, personal branding. For example, I've made over $1.5 million in seven, eight months from my personal brand. That is where the big money is in the long term, but you can't just start like that. It takes time to grow. So this could be your YouTube channel. This could be your Instagram. This could be you. Now, how does this incorporate with the other things? How can you make money doing this if it takes so long? When you're starting making other sources of income, Start your personal brand. Start documenting what you're doing. You might say, oh, I don't want to start a YouTube channel. I'm camera shy. I don't know how to talk to the camera. Who's going to watch me? Why would anyone watch me? I don't have videos to post. I don't know what to post. All you guys have to do for this is be slightly entertaining. I mean, look at my first videos. I'm not entertaining. I just have good information. That's why people followed me. You need a mix between entertainment and information. You need to give them a lot of good information for free and just document what you're doing, guys. If you're saying like, okay, I'm starting Amazon FBA today. Here's what I've learned so far. Here's what I'm doing. I'll keep you guys updated. If you have questions, I'll try and answer them. And just start documenting what you're doing. Because when you build this and you start doing something else well, like Amazon, people are gonna see your whole journey and be like, wow, I wanna learn to do what he did. And then you can make a course on it. You can teach people and you can make money that way. If you haven't seen my video on personal branding already, it's called The Secret Millionaires Don't Tell You or something like that, it's five or six videos back, I'll link it in the description. Go watch that, it breaks this down and how you can make over 10 different sources of income from your personal brand. But this is something everyone should be doing when you're trying to make another source of income. Now it's hard to just start with this and go from nothing because you have nothing to post on. So if you're doing Amazon FBA, do that and then start documenting and building this up. Giving away free information, just documenting, building your following pretty much. Because like I said, 
there's so much money to be made in the personal following. If you haven't watched my video already on that, go watch it. It's probably my best video on this channel. But other than that, guys, you don't need money to start this. You start a YouTube channel. Oh, I don't have a camera. Use your webcam on your laptop. Use your phone. Big guys like Ty Lopez, Gary Vee, they use their phone. You can use your phone. I use this thing. That's all I use. I'm using a camera right now. I rarely use it unless it's whiteboards. But it's that simple, guys. So that's going to be it for this video. If you have any questions, I'll go in more detail in the comments. Maybe make a part two if you guys are interested. Let me know. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. And for everyone, I do have a course teaching Amazon FBA. So that's what I started with and affiliate marketing. They're both in the description if you're interested. Again, with the Amazon course, you do get my help for two months. You can email me. I'll go over products with you, anything to make sure you succeed. But I'll see you guys in the next video.